swept up in today's independent music. Good morning, everybody, and in case it's not morning where you are, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I am your host, Long Hair LeClaire, and here's my co-host, the Marvelous Marlon Mouse McCarty. What's up, everybody? Um, today, we have a special treat, thanks to a folk duo called The Tide Rose. Um, they're from Richmond, Virginia. From Virginia. Virginia. Uh, they're gonna hate that. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry in advance. Whenever I think of Virginia, all I think about is the Waltons, and I think about how it's my favorite TV show of all time. I think of John Denver. Yeah. I just, yeah, I feel like it's fair. I think of Colorado when I think of John Denver, but yeah, I mean, mm. West Virginia. Well, I just think of, of him singing, Country West Rose. Virginia. Anyways. Yeah. I've never been to the States, can you tell? <laughs> I've been through the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh, well, there you go. When I was 11. When you were 11. <laughs> <laughs> so, I actually do remember a decent amount of it, which is surprising. Um, I remember there being no barriers on the mountains and it being a terrifying drop. That's fucking horrifying. Yeah. But uh, we're not talking about road safety or John Denver today. So, um, the Tide Rose, uh, which is uh, comprised of Keelan Creech and Whitney Caroline. And... Uh, so I've listened to both these songs already. I have not. Uh, yeah. So Marlo's not heard either of these songs. I think they are... Well, I'll tell you what I think they are after you guys get a chance to hear them. Because hmm. um, it would just be silly for me to lead you on. Fair enough. I get to listen to it with a with a fresh set of ears. You guys get Much to li- like maybe a good portion of our audience. So there you go. Yeah, you get to listen to it at the same time that Marla does. Except not really, because we'll listen to it, like, you know, at least a week before you do. Mm. Ha. Ha. Um, but here we go. So, um, first up, we are going to play On the Road, um, in parentheses, Gone Forever. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, here's The Tide Rose. Thank you. 
Yeah. So, that's uh, On the Road, Gone Forever, by the Tide Rose. Um, I fucking love that. I'm kind of glad that you didn't, I didn't listen to this beforehand, because I just am sitting here and I'm just like, ah, it's, I'm just like at peace right now. <laughs> like, that's just so peaceful. It like it, it like took me. I got lost in that for a second there. That was real nice, man. Yeah, it's it's actually very interesting that I mean it is very peaceful. The song It's just interesting that you say that because they make mention of how th- all their music came to be um, on on their media uh, in their bios. Basically, amidst wintry storms and stormy nights in Richmond washing up on the shores these songs appeared for them right which is like you know what it, well, while they were cooped up inside or I don't know how a winter is in Richmond but mm. um, for us I guess that would be us cooped up inside because it's minus 40 but yeah <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah so however it is that that they spent through you know the winter season the winter months mm-hmm. 10 weeks I think they said yeah, every week for ten weeks, a song would wash up on the shores of Richmond, Virginia. Even their bio is very like ah. Just ethereal and floaty. And yeah, yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah. This is a wonderful song. Um, I quite like it. Um, I should make mention that I, I mean, not to have actually met her, but I know Whitney from. Uh, a marketing perspective as opposed to uh, an artist perspective um, because she sends me a lot of the music that that I do review. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so I know her from that angle, but I promise when I'm saying that she sounds fucking amazing in this, that it's not because I know her. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to get that out before anyone's like oh they're connected this i don't think anyone cares by this point in time because i think we've had like 100 people listen to the podcast but (laughs) um but in case there's that one person in 100 who's just like wait there's a conflict of interest um that person can fuck off and also i have no bias because i don't know this person on a professional level and i've never heard their music before so this is my own personal opinion and i think it's great so there you go um, yeah, their voices work extraordinarily well together. Um, the mix is awesome because yeah. while, while their voices do have, like, it's not a completely dry vocal track by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, so even though it is kind of airy and ethereal, you can still hear all the words, which is, like, a bizarre thing, it seems, in mm-hmm. a lot of music today, to be able to understand all the lyrics. Um... So I love that the and the build in the composition, like to suddenly where there's like strings and that all comes in, and it's just like, oh, you do kind of get the idea of like waves lapping at the shore, washing up against a ship that you, you know. What I mean, yeah, like, it has that nice sort of like crescendo effect. Yeah, like it's really nice there. But uh, yeah, I was definitely listening to that, and it just made me think of being on a like a windy beach. It really did. Which is interesting when you say how, like, the whole songs became, like, came to be. I was like, oh, that's interesting, because the whole time I was thinking about being next to the ocean. So, there you go. If that was the effect you were going for, you definitely got it. (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, because I, like, I almost, you know how when you're, how, when you're a kid, I don't know if this happened when you're a kid, but they're just like, oh, if you hold the shell to your ear... You can hear the ocean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like if you play the song through the speakers, you can hear the waves, but you can't, obviously, right? But Mm -hmm. there's like, I don't know, there's something about the music, and it could be because I read the description, so automatically I was thinking about that, so it's their subliminal, you know, um, whole ploy to get everyone (laughs) to think that. Um, But, I mean, the, the bio starts, and I quote... Um, ever felt lost at sea, like you were surrounded by nothing but gusting winds and crashing waves for hundreds of miles? Well, if you haven't, 
Picture yourself in the middle of all of that, at night, in the winter, on an empty ship with nothing but a notebook, a pen, and a guitar. It was in an atmosphere not so different from this that the Tide Rose came to be. So, I mean, it could very well be that in my mind that was already percolating because I'd read all this, mm -hmm. and then we gave it a, a listen. But I still, like, I just think about the Ottawa River and being like, ah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm on my river. I don't think about the ocean, sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's it's just very, very pleasant. Mm -hmm. And that makes it... I'm sorry. I don't mean that to like cheapen anything. Like If I said it was just nice, like that might cheapen. Hopefully pleasant doesn't do the same mm. thing. But it is a wonderful piece of music to listen to that like Absolutely. if I was more emotional, I could find myself crying too. But... Um, <laughs> But it's, you know, if I'm having a certain night, I'm sure I could just, like, lay in bed and just listen to that and either, like, allow it to rock me to sleep because I'm not in waves or um, just keep me up thinking about, you know, the words of the song and the composition of the song and how wonderfully it works together. Mm -hmm. And I should say, um, before we break into the next... No, fuck it. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna... We're gonna go into the next song now. Okay. <laughs> because... Um, this song, I am not going to say anything about either. I was just about to say what I think about this song, but I'm not going to. Um, because you guys all get to listen to it now. And it is called Lost Together.
That is my favorite, favorite song out there. I, I love that. There's there's a point in that song where I was kind of a little bit like, ha, ha, uh, I'm getting feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one definitely gets me closer to being an emotional person. Oh my god, um, yeah. It's, yeah, oh. Um, oh and it shit. reminds me of um, a song that we have written that we're working on. I was thinking the yeah. same thing. And it's not because it's it sounds the same and it's not because it has similar lyrics, but the the idea of it of being you know the, like this song specifically being lost together mm-hmm. and in our song specifically being about us you know ending up with each other on the same path against the weather. Yeah. Um look out for that track coming soon. <laughs> um, but uh yeah, it's it's just a beautiful song. It really is. Um, Absolutely it is. That that note she hits toward the end just makes me like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, like, having a moment there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, and it's cool because the way that it hits in the music is sort of like this angelic vaulted, like. Yeah. I can't, I have, so words are a thing that in this moment I'm like I don't give a fuck because this song is really good I really like this song oh I love um, this song I love it and I'm going to be listening to it a lot more um, me too and here's the thing so <laughs> absolutely I will um so now I get to backtrack a bit more on the history of uh, of my knowing Whitney and I, reading the description or reading the you know the names so Whitney and then Keelan Creech who is the um the male singer in the uh-huh. duo um when i was reading that name a couple of times over it's like fuck I, I recognize that name like how do i recognize it did i did i review music of his before and sure enough i searched my inbox that name and the first thing i find is from november 2017 when i first got an email from whitney um, when I was still working with Swept Media, which is now not a thing, but, uh, but, and it was her pushing new music by Keelan Creech, who ah. is on there, uh, who is high up on, on the marketing mixtape roster. Um, so as a promoter of music is how I met Whitney and the very first artist who I was introduced to through Whitney was uh, her partner in this duo. So That's funny. There you go. So that's very interesting. And I really wish I mm-hmm. could go back and read what the hell I said uh, about that music. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, the site yeah. is shut and that's, you know, all those years of music gone. But mm-hmm. um, so I'm sorry, Keelan. I'm, but based on this, I'm sure I said something wonderful um, <laughs> because this is great. Um, yeah. And it's like the the lyrics of this song I find are comparatively simple to to the previous track, but I also find that the simplicity of the lyrics is what makes the song so beautiful. That's because, the thing. Like you, yeah. you don't always need it to be lyrically complex to get that beautiful message across, and that song I think does it really well. Yeah, and just. I don't know, and this is just the sap in me, I guess, but the whole idea of being, you know, you're both lost, but let's be lost together and not alone, it's just like, oh. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really beautiful theme. Um, yeah, and I just kind of want to go paddling down the Ottawa River, and I just want to, like, go by myself so I can cry while I listen to this song and paddle. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like... (laughs) <laughs> this song makes me want to just be on a beach, like, by a big body of water. Like, mm-hmm. it really does. It makes me want to be, like, next to the ocean or, like, next to a great lake or something. Like, it makes me want to be on Georgian Bay. Like, it's, it makes me just want to be in nature. <laughs> it really does. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if there's a music video for either of these. I'm sorry. I, I did. I shit the bed on research for this one, I guess, which is crazy because I've known at least about Whitney's music for longer than anyone else that I've covered on the, <laughs> on the podcast. You. God so, damn it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, Whitney. Um, but I um, I will be absolutely going through and plugging all this stuff. And I, mm. I do have to say, and this is what I was going to say before we play this track, 
is that the Tide Rose may just be this standalone uh, bit of music that they have. Um, they have a number of songs out, which uh, will be linked below on Spotify and SoundCloud and whatever, all this stuff, um, all their media. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's, uh, you know, just because life is the way it is and she's got her focus with um, with the marketing mixtape and Keelan is doing uh, his own work as well. So I, I, I'm not sure if we're going to hear another production by uh, the Tide Rose. I hope we do. I really do too. And if nothing else, then I hope they both just keep doing music because obviously Keelan is continuing to do music. And obviously, Whitney can absolutely do the fuck out of music. Mm-hmm. So um, this is my calling you out, Whitney, and saying keep doing music. I know it's a bitch to do a million different things and try and keep doing your own stuff when you're doing so much for other people. Thank you very much, by the way. Um, but yeah, you should absolutely keep pushing your music because it's fucking gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And absolutely, it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what more to say. Uh, those are the only two songs we, we lauded to uh, to cover, and I love them both, and you should all go download and listen to the rest of um, the Tide Rose music. I know I'm going to many, many, many times over. <laughs> um, yeah, I imagine this will end up on playlists for when we go driving oh fuck yeah bud (laughs) and i should say also just from the first track on the road um we just came back from being on the road for a month yeah i was just thinking that and listening to that song i was like yeah that it just the way it hit was kind of like huh there i don't know there's like a bit of a forlorn feeling to the song mm-hmm. um with just I, I mean their their voices alone are uplifting so it was like this interesting mix of emotion in the song um that sort of perfectly laid out what our trip was because mm-hmm. it was wonderful and it was beautiful and it was fun and it was awful and it was depressing and yeah. um disheartening and then it was great and then it was you know i don't know it was all those things and um yeah mm-hmm. i just keep um um umming and yang you're uh, go- um, jeff, je- uh, uh jeff uh jeff jeff Goldblum. well well uh uh, uh there, there, it there it is there it is um there i go again so uh now here i am uh uh talking to myself so <laughs> but anyway seriously Check out everything that the Tide Rose has to offer. Um, it's beautiful music. I cannot wait to dig into the rest of their music. And um, hopefully at some point we'll cover more of their stuff on the podcast. Absolutely, um, yeah. And uh, assuming I can get the tracks from uh, from Whitney, which is actually a huge pain in the ass. I think we over the course of a month it took to actually get the files working because the links weren't working and it was like... All this shit that was preventing this from happening, and I'm so I think that's another reason why. Oh, I know that's fine, and I think that is another reason why it took us so long to just finally get to this point to put this one out. But I'm very excited for that, uh, and that it's here now. So thank you for your patience, Whitney, uh, and thank you for your beautiful music, and thank you, Keelan, for yours as well. It's wonderful. Um, if you guys don't do music again together, then I hope you both just branch out and do amazing music on your own and Mm -hmm. uh yeah thank you very much and that is us for today good night everybody or good morning or good day or good evening swept media get swept up in today's independent music a dolphin sound. It's somewhere between a dolphin and a velociraptor. Do it again. Hmm? Do it again. I will. <laughs> that is super strange. It's, I realize it's the sound I can make. It's like rolling my tongue, but I inhale instead.
It's like you go with your tongue, but you go. What? Oh, you're recording? <laughs> You are. Mm -hmm. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. Love you uh, too. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Fun times. You can uh, learn how to learn how to make weird sounds with Marla and McGarity. <laughs> I've never met anyone else who could make that sound. And it I sounds unusually sexual what you just said. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh. Learn how to make weird sounds with Marla McCarthy. <laughs> no, I just want to make, like, like go up to the mic and just like bite into a cucumber. Just, just, just like. <laughs> there you go. There's your ASMR for the day. <laughs> <laughs>